From WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erin Connolly. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. And I'm Stephanie Simone. Former Connecticut Governor Lowell Weicker has died at the age of 92. He won the gubernatorial race in 1990 after forming his own party. Plus, during his time in Congress, he was the first Republican senator to call on President Richard Nixon to resign. Weicker died after a brief hospital stay. We'll have much more on his life and reaction from fellow politicians when you head to WFSB.com. In New Haven, police are investigating the death of a baby on Farron Avenue. It happened Wednesday afternoon. Police say no arrests have been made at this time. The Hartford Police Union says the Hartford Police Department is collapsing amid struggles to keep officers. The union says more than 125 officers have left the force since 2020 and retention is below 30 percent. Hartford Police Chief Jason Thody says the issue is complex, but they are working diligently to fix it. You can read the full statement from the union and from the police chief at WFSB.com. UConn announced plans to expand the university's presence in Waterbury. The university will lease space in a historic building adjacent to the city's campus branch. UConn is expected to move into the building in January or August of 2025. Hartford and state leaders celebrating the launch of Connecticut's Baby Bonds program. This is a first in the nation. It benefits babies whose births are covered by Husky Insurance beginning July 1st. $3,200 will be invested for each baby. When the babies become adults, 18 and 30 years old, they will be able to claim the funds. The state expects this money will be worth between eleven dollars and $24,000. For our Thursday across Connecticut, we'll start off with overnight lows, uh, 60 to 65 by the afternoon, warm to 80 or higher for many communities, especially inland. You may notice a bit of a subtle downturn in humidity. That's thanks to the cold front that moved through uh, late on Wednesday, bringing a round of thunderstorms to Connecticut. As we head into the end of the week and the end of the month on Friday, we will do so with a partly to mostly sunny sky. So uh, we'll end the week comfortably warm highs in the low and mid 80s. Then for Saturday, the humidity starts to creep up. A late day shower or storm is possible. Sunday, a better chance for isolated showers and storms. It will be humid. Monday, scattered showers and storms likely, and a shower storm can't be ruled out for Tuesday.